I'm so annoyed. Every time I dispute, I'm like, this is for educational purposes. You know, if anything, I'm promoting the song, I'm promoting the artist, I'm promoting the show. What's up, guys? Nice to see you. Actually, I can't see you. But thanks for checking in. Although I don't know whether you'll be able to see anything and check anything out because I did a beautiful video last week on The Voice Blind Auditions and YouTube blocked it for copyright issues in a few territories, including the United States of America. And oh, I just, I can't. I'm so annoyed. Every time I dispute, I'm like, this is for educational purposes. You know, if anything, I'm promoting the song, I'm promoting the artist, I'm promoting the show. It really makes me so mad, which is why you should consider becoming a patron. Please join the Patreon family, the Charisma Performing Arts Patreon family. The link is in the description below this video so that we can share stuff with each other without being blocked and restricted because it's very frustrating. But anyway, so today we will try again and I hope this reaches you. We're going to look at Constance Howard's, Howard's, um, Blind Audition. Sorry, I needed to think there. I'm a little bit emotional right now. Uh, her Blind Audition, and she sang Justin Bieber's Peaches. And I actually have not listened to this at all. I just saw that it got a lot of views, got a lot of attention, literally, and that's why I decided to check it out. Actually, I lie. I did listen to like 15 seconds of her voice, and I was like, nice voice. But I haven't actually listened to her do the song. So let's check it out together and let's see what my actual first reaction is. I got my peaches out. I got my peaches out. What's the actual? Freaking hell. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard whistle turn like that. That was a G sharp what? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's insane skill. Um, I think she reinterpreted this Bieber song, right? But she so gets the style. In this kind of style of music, also in hip hop, the singers, the vocalists will always, not always, will often be slightly behind the beats. And they just, she just does it so instinctively and so skillfully. Obviously, vocally very impressive. Um, she sang most of, this, most of the song in that B flat octave. And then there's nothing in between in that range. And then there's the whistle tones. 
So I would love to hear her also sing in the higher octave, not just the extreme higher octave, you know, um, just to see what her voice sounds like there. But she made the right vocal choices for the song. Um, yes, see. Yeah, it was incredible. I heard every word she said. She stylized it appropriately, but she made it her own in terms of how she styled the sound, the vowels, how she modified the vowels, and like I said, how she sings just behind the beats and and everything about it, I think, was just really cool. Also love the look. Um, sometimes, like I've said in other videos, sometimes people try to impress or shock or draw attention with what they wear. And then it doesn't really, it's not matched by their artistry or their voice or their interpretation or their stagecraft. But she wore something very specific, classy, in my opinion. She looks beautiful. Uh, she's very comfortable on the stage. I thought it was an excellent job. And yeah, only two of the coaches turned. So let's check out the coaches' comments. My name is Constance Howard. I'm 27 years old and I'm from Katy, Texas. Constance, that was so cool. Honestly, it was so creative and different. You have so many incredible places in your voice. Are you doing music outside of this? You've got to be because it sounds like you would be an artist that signed already. I actually started off in choir. I was a really shy student and my parents really motivated me and pushed me to get in the studio and do more stage performances at school. So it's been a journey. Okay. <laughs> you got a legend and you got Camila. Camila. <laughs> Hi, Constance. Hi, Camila. I have one more spot left on my team. And I've been really careful about who I pick for this last spot. There is nobody else like you on my team. I've been looking for somebody like you that has that character voice, that distinctiveness. You started off really shy, right? Yes. My choir teacher, she's the one who got me into hitting high notes. I didn't know I could hit them. Yeah. And she's like, you can go further. Just keep pushing yourself. That's the power of a good teacher. Mm -hmm. That really resonates with me because I used to be so shy when what? I was younger. Shut I, up. I swear. I never, Come on. I never liked to sing in front of people. I was so, so shy. And the first time that I sang in front of people was on a singing competition show. And I have come such a long way from that. I mean, clearly, Blake begs me to, to shut up in front of this crowd all the time. Cause in I, this moment. In I this moment. He's like, <laughs> he's like, when is she going to stop talking? <laughs> I really love your tone of voice. I love working with artists like you that have a different quality of voice. That's just something that God gave you, so. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I would love to be your coach. And I'm a pop girl, so. I eh. see. But I'm a pop girl with some swag. Like, I'm not, you know I what I mean? I do think that, yes. Be that, John. <laughs> I feel like we've heard a lot about Camila. Oh, <laughs> burnt. In some ways, you reminded me of Rihanna, because Rihanna, I think, does a really effective job of bringing, like, Caribbean and African influence into pop music. You just have such a special voice. And then your chest voice is so different from those whistle notes that you're doing. I don't know if you listen to Minnie Ripperton, but... I love Minnie Ripperton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, she was, like, the queen of, like, the soulful whistle notes back in the day. And you'll be able to take any song, like, you just took this Bieber song, and really made it your own. And I feel like the fun part of working with you would be just finding other songs that you could take and just transform them. Every coach on here could say, you don't sound like anybody on my team because you don't sound like anybody on the show. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone that sound exactly like you do. And I would love to work with you, help you pick songs, help you figure out how to channel that into a really successful time on this show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Who's she going to pick? Constance, uh, I'm sorry I didn't hit my button. I have one spot left, but you hit a couple of notes in that song that defies science. <laughs> <laughs> and throw out and I think I... That Blake can't I even hear anymore temporarily with Temporarily paralyzed <laughs> from those notes. It's almost like my ears never heard something that high before. Uh, but also, when I saw these two turn around, I was like, you know what, this is... You were like, right. you know what, Constance should go with Camila. This, That's what I'm thinking. We would make a great pair. I would love to work with you, Constance. I just feel like you're somebody. Go ahead and last word me. Go ahead, Camila. Last word I me. I will. You know what? We're down to the wire. I have one spot left on my team, and I feel like it's you. If we were on a dating app, 
for the voice, <laughs> I would swipe right and you would swipe right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Constance, who do you pick as your coach? Uh, okay, it's one of those clips where they don't show you who she picked, so I don't know. Yeah, so I just want to say that if I was a contestant on that show and the coaches, all of the coaches turned around for me, I would have very little hesitation to choose John Legend as my coach. I just love how wise he is. I think he's wise with the kinds of things that he says. Um, he's got such insights, and I just think he... He looks like a, like a brilliant person as well. Not that the others aren't. But anyway. So, yeah. No, really, really cool um, what Constance here did. And, and, again, humble. I know I talk about it a lot. But she seems humble and unassuming. And sort of as a person, just, um, just a normal person. What is normal? I don't know. But, you know, just like... There's no airs about her. She's not trying to be something that she's not. Like I said, with the way she presents herself, the way she dressed and, and presents herself, it's clearly very intentional and it's, she dressed up, you know, and everything. But it just feels like it's real. And I love that about her. So, yeah, let's hope this media, this media makes it. Wow. Let's hope this video makes it to your eyes and ears. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, please take care of yourself.